When creating contract jobs in Noify, you're prompted to choose between one of three different job costing styles. These different styles control the flow of how you work through a Noify job and how much information you get out as a result. In simple mode, the first step will be creating your contract and quoting prices to the client, then when you track costs, they'll just be to the job itself. In advanced, you also start by creating the contract and sending it to the client, but you'll track your costs to each of the line items that you quoted to the client in the contract. In professional mode, you start the job by building your project plan. This will allow you to estimate your costs, so you'll have the option to quote your prices to the client as a markup of those estimated costs to help you better stay on your budget. First, we'll cover simple mode. You'll see that when I save this job, it pulls me into the Create Contract screen. The Plan and Track section is actually disabled until the contract's live, so you can't track any costs to the job until the job is active. We'll put together a contract really quick, just for the sake of example. We'll put in some basic contact information, and then a list of different line items. I'll just call mine Labor and Materials and add one for Contingency. Then, we'll make this contract active, and it'll automatically activate the project plan and track as well. The key characteristic to note in a simple mode job is that there's just one phase associated with this job and it's called labor and materials. Regardless of how many line items I add in the contract and what I name them, we're always just going to create the one phase for this job. That way, when you track costs to the job, you only have one location for them to point to. This also makes scheduling easier since we don't have a whole project plan to set dates for and we'll allocate a couple material costs to the job from our catalog. When we're tracking any of our costs to this job from outside the project plan, you'll see that any of the drop-down menus where we select our job will just have this labor and materials phase for us to allocate the cost to. So, if one of your employees is tracking time to a job, they simply have to just choose the labor materials task and it will be tracked as part of the cost of the job. You'll see that this job is showing me just a total cost to this broken down to materials and labor and I can actually print out a project report which will give me a breakdown of all of my costs on the job thus far. You'll see that it's just a simple PDF that shows you all the different materials that you've purchased and all the different labor entries that you logged. Next, we'll cover the advanced style of job costing in OFI. The creation of an advanced job in OFI is very similar to our simple mode where we're going to start in our create contract and the plan and track section is going to be locked. You'll see we have a contract already built in here with several different line items. And when I make this active, the big difference between advanced and simple is that now my project plan and track is going to have a phase for each line item that I created, as opposed to just the one phase called labor and materials. This way, when I'm tracking my costs, rather than just choosing labor and materials as my activity, I'll be able to say what specific piece of the job I was tracking my time on. This can be useful both for organization and just for some generic project management. This way, you know how much time you're spending on each phase of your jobs, and you have the ability to mark them as complete when you're done working on them. After tracking costs to an advanced job, I can go back to the plan and track section and see how much I've spent on each of my phases individually. I can print out a project report on this as well, and it'll give me my material and labor breakdown at each phase level instead of just the whole job. Last, we'll cover professional mode. Although these jobs take a little bit longer to put together, we always recommend that you try them because they actually give you the most information out when you're costing the job. You'll notice that in professional mode, when we save the new job, it pulls us directly into plan and track instead of the contract creation. I loaded in a template of a job here just to save some time. You'll see that I have it broken down into all of my different phases here. And all of these phases have an estimated material and labor cost associated with them. This way, when I'm creating the contract, we'll use the project plan phases, and it'll automatically create a line item for each phase that was in my plan and track section. So when I'm quoting my prices, I have the option to view my estimated cost write in a markup percentage, 
and my price is going to be automatically quoted using my estimated cost plus the markup that I apply. This way, if you can stick to the estimated cost that you set up in your project plan, you're more likely to see a better profit on this job. In professional mode jobs, tracking costs works just like it does in your advanced mode, where all of your costs are going to be pointed at specific phases in the plan as opposed to just the job itself. Only now, when I go back to the plan and track section, I'll see an actual cost versus what I initially had estimated. This way, we can get more information about what phases of jobs are costing us more or less than we're originally estimating. Our professional mode jobs will also give us a slightly different project report. You'll see that we get a percentage of progress complete on the job based off of our actual cost versus how much we initially estimated. This way, if you're using progress billing, you have a percentage for you to invoice off of. And since you can see the percentages at a phase level and the line items were made off of phases, the process will be automated for you much more easily. And since we budgeted at a phase level, we can also print out a P&L report that will show you the variance of your actual cost versus your initial estimated cost for each phase of the job. Thanks for watching, and if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to our customer support team at support at noify.com.